couldn't. I, my, I, good lord, it's, I don't have a watch, <laughs> but you do. Can you tell me what time it is? It's almost midnight, and uh, I guess it's uh, about time for winter semis. Wow, Aria Already? Highland versus Cosmic Cosmos. Yeah, so we've been seeing Cosmic Cosmos uh, play with a couple characters other than the Pikachu he's known for. From the sounds in the background, it sounds like he's going to be playing Pikachu. Um, and Highland, he might be pulling out the Sheik, but last time uh, in Hand Warmers we saw him with the Sheik and he went... He went Diddy Kong. He went Diddy Kong, yes. Highland has an array of characters ready to go. It's a matter of figuring out who he's going to bust out against... Uh, Cosmic Cosmos. Cosmic Cosmos, no stranger to having a uh, no, pocket deep full of uh, high-level characters as well. Uh, I've, seen him, I've seen him play Peach. I've seen him play Lucas. I've seen him, I think I may have even seen him one time pick out uh, either Greninja or Mewtwo. I can't remember. His Peach is definitely a force to be reckoned with. But today we're going to be seeing the Pikachu yeah, against Highland's legendary Toon Link. Uh, it's uh, definitely uh, something that we see about all the time online. It's good to finally see Highland actually at a tournament. Yeah, really close. Yeah, he doesn't come out uh, too often. Maybe once every month or two. Yeah, I mean he definitely tournament. gets his training in. Uh, his brother is Iggy. After yeah. All. So he has that high-level practice at hand, and it's cool to see him really come far with that, uh, making it all the way to winter semi so far. But Cosmic Cosmos, he's that Wi-Fi warrior. These two are brothers of sorts in their own strange way, I suppose. Yeah. Two guys that. You know, maybe maybe we don't see them all the time. Maybe once a month or so. But every time they come, it's uh, probably gonna make some make some of that dough. <laughs> Look at those up tilts. Uh, both of these characters possess really good up tilts that combo into each other. And there's an interaction before where Pikachu's tail actually uh, clanked with Highland's up tilt attempt. I love the setup from that bomb. It leveraged the opportunity to go ahead and land that up air, but that nice shield is going to favor Cosmic Cosmos as he nearly takes out the stock with that F smash. I was about to, I really thought that Cosmic Cosmos was done for with the positions of those bombs because Highland covered so many options, but Cosmic Cosmos was able to roll back at just the right time that he was able to shield before Highland could get out that up smash. Cosmic Cosmos is trying to figure out, get a read on Highland's recovery patterns. He wants to use that back air in ways where he can really stuff out those uh, recovery times from Highland. Getting the grab is nice, but he's not able to get the follow-up launched way too high to really get that option. Yeah, one problem that uh, Highland's definitely going to have trouble with reading anyways is, ooh, didn't have trouble reading that dash in. Uh, and hopefully we're going to be seeing a little bit uh, more of that Cosmic Cosmos mix-up DI, which is something that really makes him who he is as a good player. Uh, this DI is almost never the same on the, on if you do the same throw. If you do an up throw, 99% of the time it's not going to be the same as the last time. So many mix-ups, but right now he's just trying to look at ways to get that kill. And the up smash is going to do it really big for him as well. Uh, Isam said it several times, sometimes Pikachu struggles at that late game. Yeah. Two characters that really uh, play differently, but fundamentally, if you look at them, uh, you know, as far as killing with their up smashes, comboing with their up tilts and down tilts, you see that these characters just play so differently, and yet they're so similar. There's definitely a little bit of common ground between both of these. One thing that we've seen a lot better from Cosmic Cosmos is he's starting to deal with the bombs a bit better. We haven't really seen Highland get too many opportunities. Right there, actually, the quick attack going right past that bomb. And he's able to quick attack there to temporarily avoid the smash attack as well. Doesn't avoid that one, though. Highland pops him up into the air and almost gets the forward air as well. If he was positioned a little bit closer, that could have been the end of game one. Yeah, Cosmic Cosmos needs to get a lot more careful with these uh, up Bs that he's going out and approaching with because Highland's starting to figure out just about where he's going every time. Oh. It is a good approach option, but you can't make it your approach every time. Try to go for the Thunder. Highland moves with the forward air as well. Maybe another shot here. He's not even a chance at that time with that grab. He's probably trying to bait, but Cosmic Cosmos came in way too fast for that bait to really come through. Ooh, so, yeah, we're definitely in kill percents for uh, both of these characters, which is uh, high for actually both of them. These uh, deep kill late. That was such a call out. He knew. He knew. That was excellent. That was excellent. It, because it came back to the percent, right? At that high of a percentage, you're just thinking, I need to get away. I need to get away. And Highland called it out so beautifully. Running up and using that up smash to cover that tech time. He did that all game, and it worked out for him 
all game, calling out Cosmic Cosmos. And as far as Cosmic Cosmos mixing it up, DI is about his best part. But sometimes you just have to watch him for a little bit, and then you realize if he's at this percent, if he's at over 100%, he's probably going to want to just kind of space you out with those Thunderbolts. Here we go to game number two. Cosmic Cosmos with the counterpick of Battlefield is putting in some serious work. 40% differential right now between these two players. But Highland getting that bomb is going to mean some big damage, and he's able to bring it back so quickly. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Highland's been doing an absolutely fantastic job of getting the big hits in where he needs to get them. Cosmic Cosmos has been doing a good job of chaining his attacks together. Really what you'd expect from both of these guys, uh, but just exceptional in this game. Has a little bit of positioning, but Highland able to go and get a nice uh, tether grab there. Good, good back, back row. Glad we're on the same page. Yeah, we're <laughs> on the same page. No, it's, a good, it's good, and uh, interesting from Cosmic Cosmos. He wants to go ahead and maintain control of that stage instead of trying to go off stage to get the edge guard. Beautiful bomb setup for that forward air by Highland. Cosmic Cosmos, man, he, he's just having a tough time here. I mean, Cosmic Cosmos might be having a tough time finding a way to seal up the stock, but so is Highland, and that's part of the counter pick coming into play. It's just how big the blast zones on Battlefield are, and you just saw it there once again. Yeah, even at the, at the edge of this stage, isn't as close to the side blast zones as you would think. It's gonna result in a lot of difficulties for some of these players to get some of those KOs. Cosmic Cosmos has a shot here. He gets the throne, he's gonna be forcing Highland off stage. But again, he doesn't want to commit to going off stage just yet. He wants to figure out ways where he can plant his feet onto the ground and maybe get an F smash read. And that's interesting to me because one of Pikachu's best things is how good he is at just gimping characters off of their recoveries and calling out him with that up smash there is a very nice play. But um, I agree with you. I think that he needs to go off stage just a little bit more, or maybe just even pressure him at the ledge, because right now he's just kind of backing off to the middle of those platforms and just kind of waiting for Highland to get back and seeing what he's going to do. Cosmic Cosmos. Maybe he's starting to adapt a little bit better. Highland hasn't been able to pull out the bombs, I think, because of how close Cosmic Cosmos was playing it. But there, his desperation to get close resulted in Highland being able to get the up smash that he needed. We're back at the neutral game. Highland starting off pretty strong with those up tilts, but doesn't find that last up smash. It wasn't quite high enough to connect with it just yet. Yeah, so both of these characters are just definitely at the point where they're trying to space each other out. Cosmo Cosmos, pretty soon though, he's gonna have to get in there a lot more aggressively and try to get these kills before Highland gets too much rage. I just like the, the change from Cosmic Cosmos. He's just such a good change that we're seeing from Cosmic Cosmos that let him get that last kill, right? He went in game one and he was almost respecting the space too much. And then he realized that if Highland has the opportunity to pull out bombs, then Highland's gonna use those to combo and set up for some KO options as well as some big damage options. So he mitigates the bomb by playing it really close to face and preventing Highland from ha even having time to pull out the bomb, making it no longer an option he has to worry about. Yeah, Cosmic Cosmic is definitely very good at adapting. Uh, we'll see how he adapts to the stage change here. Um, definitely a great change uh, of stage for Highland as almost all of his kill opportunities are off the top. Most for Cosmic Cosmos as well, but uh, I think Tim Link really only has one or two kills off the side, and that's forward air and forward smash. I mean, I'm sure down smash probably could do the trick too. Yeah. Let's slip on those smashes. Cosmic. Again, Cosmic Cosmos playing it so close. Highland gets a bomb out, but he, he, because his opportunities are few and far in between, wow. the fact that he wasn't able to do anything with that bomb is really, really sad for him. Yeah, and he's eating it now because 11% is all he got on in that first stock. And that, that's what happens when you're backed into the corner like that without as many tools available to you. It's just so difficult. Cosmic Cosmos lapping Highland right now in percentage. He looks so promising game number one. But this counterplay from Cosmic Cosmos is, just might be too much. Nice here. Uh, now Highland is starting to switch things up a little bit as well. He's using that Zare option just to kind of poke and prod and tell Cosmic Cosmos that he can't play at that range for free. He's adapting himself, but whoa! Wow. That was ridiculous. Highland has the bomb out, and he's trying to throw it to clear a landing and set it for a combo simultaneously. Cosmic Cosmos throws out a Thundershock, it blows up the bomb, and actually sets up for the finish opportunity for Cosmic Cosmos instead of Highland. Yeah, 
crazy. Absolutely fantastic. That was job. a crazy turn of events at the end there. Survival. That was a great game.